According to information released from the National Disaster Management Agency on the advice from the University of the West Indies Seismic Research Center, the alert level for Kikam Jenny remains at yellow, which is a 1.5 kilometer exclusion zone around the summit of the volcano. According to reports, over 1,000 small earthquakes occurred at Kikam Jenny last week, pushing NADMA to issue advisories, reminding marine traffic and people living in close proximity to be vigilant. The latest activity was observed over a seven-day period in the month of June. Speaking to Acting Disaster Coordinator Sylvan McIntyre, activities over the past two years into this year is cause for concern. Last year, the alert level reached orange, which means that vessels should observe a five-kilometer exclusion zone. We are always concerned that where we are now, we should be concerned that there is increased act activities occurring. But if it gets to the point of orange, it means that an eruption is close to happen. And if it gets to red, it means that it has already happened or it's happening. And um, this will trigger evacuations. But as I indicated before, our instruments so far have not failed us. It is our ability and our responsibility to ensure that we monitor them very closely. We would like as a precaution for general sea users is to, as I indicated before, adhere to the exclusion zone. McIntyre explains that the monitoring mechanisms are in place should there be increased activities. Now, the monitoring instruments would indicate to us that more gas is released and there are more activities happening at Kikam Jenny. This will trigger the alert. As it's volcanic eruptions or seismic events, they do not give you a lot of warning to react. And so the extent to which an eruption or a volcano or an earthquake, the extent or the magnitude of it will determine your course of action. As it stands now, all we have to do is hope that it does not erupt to the point where we have to evacuate. Our island is small, there are many islands close to us. An erupting volcano can trigger tsunamis, it can trigger tidal waves, and um, you can have pyroclastic flow, you can have acid rains as some of the, the things that can happen. Quite a number of hazards associated with volcanic eruption. So. Um, in the event that that happened, what we need to be able to do is to warn off person. Now, this is what we're doing now. We are in an alert phase where we are saying to you, be cautious. And if it gets to the point where it has erupted, we will have to do evacuations. Increased seismic activities results in the emission of gases, which can reduce the density of the water around the summit. Hence, the exclusion zone of 1.5 kilometers must continue to be observed. Kikam Jenny is an undersea volcano located 8 kilometers north of the island. It reaches a depth of approximately 180 meters. The volcano has erupted 12 times since 1939. Given the risk, a monitoring network has been established. Christina John, GBN News.